and welcome to Season 14, Episode 95 of Eagle News. Today is Thursday, March 5th, 2021. Almost a week till we go back full time. My name is Jetta. And my name is Riley. Riley, are you excited to go back to school every day? I am so, so excited. So <laughs> excited. So today's national holiday is to learn what your name means. Why is learning about your name so great, Riley? I'm pretty sure the purpose of this holiday is to encourage people to celebrate and appreciate their unique names. Did you know? I looked it up. My name means wood clearing. <laughs> wood clearing! <laughs> I didn't know that, but I do know ways to celebrate. When you go home, ask your parents why they gave you your name and what it means. Well, since celebrating a national holiday is so interesting and fun, I might as well go ask my parents about my name. For our today's first video segment, Ryan and Taylor will teach you how to make an apple pie. Which I totally need, because, need to see because I love apple pie. Here's part one of their two-part series on apple pie. Samretta's making us flip through this useful book, so we're going to see what Ryan lands on. Yes, I am. <laughs> how to make a perfect pie crust. Yeah. I just get a frozen one from the store. We're going to get a store-bought crust and make homemade pie We're filling. We're both making apple pie, and I'm making a homemade crust with store-bought filling. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to eat these pies. I like pumpkin Hi, and I'm apple, Ryan, ladies. I'm teaching you how to make a homemade pie crust with a store-bought filling. The ingredients you need are a teaspoon of salt, two cans of apple pie filling, two cups of flour, a third a cup of water, and 11 tablespoons of unsalted butter. The first step is to add all your dry ingredients together. So you'll add your two cups of flour and one teaspoon of salt into a bowl. Next, you'll add your 11 tablespoons of butter to your salt and flour mixture. Then start to mix your ingredients together. After you mix for a little bit, add your one third cup of water. Then start mixing it again. After you mix with a spoon, you can start using your hands so all the dough forms together. Then split your dough in half. After, put both halves in the fridge for an hour. Then roll out one half of your dough. After, form your dough into the pan. Then you'll add your first can of apple pie filling. After the first can, add the second and spread all the filling out equally. Now take your second half of dough and roll it out and put it on top of the filling. Then you'll cut all the excess dough off the sides. Then pinch both halves of the dough into one. You'll then use a fork and press down on the edges. Then you'll cut slits in the pie and poke holes with a fork. Lastly, put your pie in the oven for 50 minutes at 400 degrees. And this is how my pie turned out after it cooked. Thank you for watching me make my apple pie. Stay tuned for Taylor's later in the news. Thanks for the great video. Stay tuned for our next video segment for another way to make an apple pie. That first slide looks so good, I'm excited to see the others. Headlines. This is the last week to order this year's yearbook. Tell your parents to check out HR Imaging link in the Hyatt's email newsletter. Don't forget, Eagles, we are all back full-time on Monday, March 15th. Remember to follow the rules, keep your distance as best you can, and help out everyone as we transition back to all in for the rest of the school year. Spring break is coming. It's time to start thinking about what you're do going to do this spring break. It starts Friday, March 26th. Did you know that here at Eagle News, we have a podcast? Search Eagle Speak on the podcast app on your phone. We publish one to two shows every day with many different topics. If you're listening, we will be having a contest where you can earn your advisory points for trivia and gift certificates to gift certificates to many places around Powell. Listen and subscribe. We put so much work towards our show. Now that today's headlines are over, let's go over to Kylie to see what the weather is like today. Th Thanks, Riley and Jetta. Today is going to be pretty sunny. The high is going to be 42 and the low is going to be 23. 
It's definitely getting warm enough to ditch those snow boots and get out those tennies. Now, that's all we have for today's weather. Let's head back to, over to my girls to see what else is going on. Thanks, Kylie. I can't wait for spring to come. It's just around the corner, and I want warmer weather. Now, for the second video segment is part two to the apple pie video. I wonder how it will turn out. Roll it. Ingredients you'll need include a refrigerated pie crust, water, cornstarch, sugar, butter, cinnamon, and two apples. Stir your butter along with cinnamon until the butter melts. After you let the butter and cinnamon simmer for a few minutes, add in the apples. Add in sugar and a tablespoon of water. Then put the apples into the pie crust. Put into the oven for 30 minutes. All right, hey everybody, I'm, I'm here test, test tasting these apple pies. So the girls told me that one pie has apple filling, one pie has real apples, and one pie is a homemade crust, and one pie is a store-bought crust, right? Yes. All right, here goes. Now I need I to tell. never know if I could scoop it. Oh baby, it's breakfast time. Very good. Hold on. There's not as much juice in this one. They're both really good. I like them both. So, they're not getting these back. But I'm going to say this one has the apple pie filling. Right? No, the store bought one. The store bought one, one's in this. And I would say that this is the. Oh gosh, the crust you're saying? Well, I can tell that these are the regular apples. I'm going to say this is the homemade crust. Uh -uh. No, no, that's the store bought crust. Really? Yeah. Well, the reason I said that is because that, that crust looks good. Like, it looks too good to be, like, made. So, this one's homemade. Yeah. Wow, nice job. That will look delicious as well. I agree. Thanks for that fantastic video. But wait, I have a joke. Why did the cookie go to the doctor? I don't know. Why, Riley? Because he was feeling crummy. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Riley. But that made me really hungry. So let's see what's cooking in the kitchen and, and is serving for lunch today. <laughs> but don't forget to use your manners and say pl please and thank you. Now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You know what time it is, Riley? I do not know what time it is. What time is it? It's time for the video of the week! Woo! Today's video of the week is the academic race. Today, we have an interesting race with two students and our host, Levi! Let's see who wins. Roll in. Morning, Eagles, and welcome to another episode of our famous academic race. Today, we're playing a classic game of expert. If you don't know the rules, then good luck. On our left is contestant... Ava. And our right is our contestant... Austin. Uh, and I'm the referee for today. I am Levi. So we're going to be asking five questions, four academically based, and one is, well, you'll see. The first one's going to be a snoozy. We have math. Determine if the following relation is a function. Ready? Wait, that's not... 
Did you break it? What have you done? Short intermission. Now we're back and Austin was complaining how his head hurt because he was doing, well, the headbutt. All right, answer the questions. What are you guys doing? Answer the questions. Oh. And he, um, yes, that is a function. Correct. And she gets a point. Woohoo, Austin, good luck with your headache. All right, now for our second question. This one is going to be history based. This one is probably the easiest question of them all. The question is, what document sets up the United States government and is the law of the land? The Constitution. Nice job, it is indeed the Constitution. Tied one to one. Now we're tied one to one. Now for our third question. Is it possible for two parents with brown eyes to have a biological child with a blue eyes? How is? Yes. I'm pressing the button. Yes. How? Um, it's Because of recessive genes. See that, Mr. C? All right, I mean, I guess you answered it right technically, but you did the explaining. So say each of you get half a point. Is that, that, is is that fair, guys? Now for our fourth and last academic question. <clears throat> Which rhetorical appeal tries to win over someone's emotion in an argument? Ethos, pathos, or logos? Come on, I I'm sorry? Logos. And that is the wrong answer. It's the right answer pathos. is? Pathos. Yeah, that point goes to Baylin. Please apologize to your English teacher. That is a disgrace. Ms. Holzer, I am sorry. That's a disgrace, Austin. Now, and now for our final and last task this time, I hid a Spider-Man bobblehead figure inside the Eagle newsroom, but it is not in any enclosed space. It is literally on a surface. Guys, go to the door on your left and start searching. Whoever brings it back and press the button wins. Three, two, one, go! Is that kind of part of the Eagle News? That is not part of the Eagle News. Back! Austin, get back here. You're searching in the wrong room. Austin is carelessly tearing the room apart. I like it. And Bela is still contemplating life. I am really surprised how people have not been looking behind things. I found it. And Baylin had found the bobblehead. Thank Bay you to Peter Parker. Baylin is the winner and will come back here with the trophy ceremony. Oh yeah. Baylin, please claim your prize. Thank you. Congratulations. And I would like to thank all my fans out there. Thank you. Thank you for them. Wait, you have fans? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. This is Eagle News. Bye bye. Bye. That was a fantastic video. Congratulations to the winner. It's time for <laughs> trivia. Let's see what today's trivia question with Ryan is. Thanks, Riley. Teachers, remember to text your answers to Mr. Meta to earn your points for today's news. Today's question is name a question people ask their dogs. Again, name a question people ask their dogs. Text up to two answers turning your points for today's show. Now let's head back to Riley and Jetta for today's final video segments. Our third video for today is a six word story by Addy, Kellen, and Miley. Let's check it out. Now let's head to our live segment for today. Hey guys, it's Kenzie and Taryn. And today we're going to be asking Ms. Curran a couple questions um, about our like game show and stuff. And so what are you doing in class today? Today we are um, doing, they're making their own coat of arms for the Middle Ages. And so that's what they're going to be working on. 
have fun. <laughs> um, and what's like happening at home? Like how's everything? Things are good. My oldest just turned 21 and my middle one is trying to decide what college he wants to go to. He's a senior and we're full blown in the middle of lacrosse season for both boys. So busy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Okay, so the rules of the game is that you start off with $500 for your first clue and you subtract money for every clue that we give you and you can only guess one time. Okay, so, so for $500, um, they usually operate with a washing slash cleansing fluid. Windshield wipers? Yes. <laughs> I got it? Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, Ms. Kern, you get $500. You. Thanks for visiting the show. Now let's head over to Ryan and Kylie that, to see what happened on this day 87 years ago. On March 5th, 1963, the hula hoop, a toy that had become a huge hit all across America when it was first marketed in 1958, was patented by the company's co-founder. About 25 million hula hoops were sold in the first four months alone. And after the great sales on the hula hoop came silly strings, slip and slides, and the hacky sack. Now it's all for this day in history. I'm sending it back to my girls now to wrap up the show. Thanks, Ryan and Kylie. Now it's time to check out those birthdays from this past week. Today's quote of the day is, today's quote is, live life to the fullest and focus on what is positive. What a wonderful quote. My name is Jetta. My name is Riley. My name is Kylie. And my name is Ryan. And remember to check out the Eagle News podcast for clues on, and games on many of our podcasts to earn your points for advisory and maybe even prizes for yourself. Before we say goodbye, here's a special 15 point bonus for trivia today. Here are the rules. Be the first teacher to text Mr. Meta the correct answer at 8.11 a.m. this morning. The first teacher to get their text the correct, with the correct answer to the, to the question will earn 15 bonus points. But the text must be sta time stamped at 8.11 or after. Here's the question in the teddies. <laughs> um, here's the question. Uh, foods like milk, cheese, and butter are considered what? Again, foods like what? Foods like milk, cheese, and butter are considered what? We hope you enjoyed today's news, and remember, Eagles, have a good day. Bye! <laughs>